Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for joining me on my latest Fortnite Creative Beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can use the HUD message device, a really versatile, interesting and useful device in your Fortnite Creative Islands. Now to get it, of course, you need to go into your content under your devices and you'll find it right here, HUD message device. This plays custom HUD messages to player using timers and triggers. Now I already have one here, so I'm going to place it. Don't forget it's not going to be visible in your game so it's just here to visually represent the options that it will have and I'm going to place a regular trigger right here that when stepped upon will trigger open up a custom message now we have our basic options right here which is basically just the text background and color but let's go to all options first of all let's write the message which can be, for example, please subscribe. Which is a message to everyone watching now. We have our different format styles and examples, and we can go for something like this or anything else we want to use. Uh, it's on default presently, but you can change it. You have recipients who will get it. Show on round start, it's off, we don't want that. Show for duration five seconds we have different background opacities we can make opacity higher so it's see-through color we can have sounds placements we can for example place it in center hard widget let's go for critical layers what kind of priority multiple in queue if you have several messages show behavior if showing queue timeout this is a lot for the queue options reevaluate message on show if it has intro animations, we can have something like bounce, for example, outro, which is a fade, text style set, color, shadow, outline, size, we can make it, let's go for bigger. And we have the central justification or alignment. And for functions, we'll now add the trigger. So it's going to show when we have the trigger on triggered and it can send no events so it's kind of the last element in the line but you can also have better to hide and clear layers if you have several layered messages so let's try it out and see how it looks like in the game itself here is the trigger like i said you don't see the device itself so i'm going to trigger it and we have please subscribe so please subscribe and that's it that's basically how you use the hot message device simple easy very versatile a lot of options there and a really good tool to present kind of messages and ideas and concepts to your players in your Fortnite Creative Island. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. If you'd like to support me, please check out my Patreon page, please check out my channel memberships, and please check out my books on Amazon. Links to all of those are in the description below. Of course, the cheapest, easiest, fastest way to support me, just subscribe, like the message said, please subscribe. Be here for my new tutorials, leave a like on this video, leave a comment if you have questions and watch my other clips. That's all for me, my name is Ivica, thank you for being here, have a great day, have loads of fun in your Fortnite creative adventures and I'll see you on my next tutorial. Until then, goodbye!